Hey guys, in this video here, I'm going to show you how to carve a real basic wood spirit. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my page to learn uh, tutorials on carving wood for the beginning wood carver and uh, the wood spirits. And I love to hear the comments and uh, respond to the comments in below. So here we go for um, carving this wood spirit. So let's give her a start. I'm using this... Uh, Cuts all extreme flame bar. Okay, carve. Okay, so this thing filming here. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. So today I'm calling this video back to the basics because basically, in like why I started my YouTube channel was to help people. Okay. It's not just about like, oh, look what I can carve, look what I can do, okay? So today, I'm gonna be using the Small Dremel Multi Pro. You guys can find these second hand uh, anywhere. I got it from my good buddy, uh, Pete. I, so it's uh, speed control here. I always run my, my Dremels at high speed and I use a foot pedal. You can look in my descriptions um, in my playlist and you can see how I hook it up to the foot pedal and I control the speed with the foot pedal, okay? So to start off, I'm gonna use the smallest Dremel I got, which most people can afford, is a Dremel Multi -to Multi Pro. I don't know if they make these anymore, but it's a small Dremel, guys. It's what I'm gonna be using to carve this face out, okay? And I always, my go-to burr is the Cutsall Extreme. Oh, I got a new camera, I got a new phone too, guys, so I hope this uh, picture's better. Oh, look, it'll even show you the burr. It'll even zoom in. I mean focus. So this is a Cutsall Extreme Flame Burr, guys. The, all the burrs I basically use are Cutsalls. You can look in it. You can look below in the description. It will take you to the Cutsall site, okay? And use the code CFusion to save yourself five percent. The reason why I like using the Cutsalls for carving is because these one eighth burr in the in the flex shaft, double flex shaft. That's what fits in there. Is the one eighth. This burr here, these points are the strongest points I've found out of any burrs, and they last the longest for me. If you're new to the channel, they call me heavy hands because I'm so hard on stuff. I carve so fast, and um, I burn things out quick. Like, I go through dremels like crazy. <laughs> so, we'll just leave it at that. This is a Cuts All Extreme, and you guys, it helps to have lots of different varieties of burrs. Not just one burr, right? This is... Like it's rounded so I can do it for anything. Okay, so I won't keep talking, but this is going to be a very basic video. It's going to be for the like a very, somebody that wants to wood carve that hasn't done it yet. And we're going to, I love carving wood spirits. Everybody knows that, right? My favorite thing to carve is a wood spirit. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to carve a basic wood spirit to get you going get you started and show you how easy it actually is guys okay you know what I mean it's so easy so what this is is a piece of wood of like a what is it like a two by two cut down the center here so you got like two triangles okay the easiest point to carve a face is on the triangle like this okay not flat but on the triangle because that way your nose can pop out really easy and you don't have to carve. The face is already rounded. You know, the face already goes round on both sides. If you can understand what I'm saying. Okay. So here's one that I did before for another video. I haven't finished it yet. This is pine wood too, guys. Real dry pine wood. I like carving dry wood because, well, it's dry. And, you know, when you carve dry wood... At least you know where the cracks are. Or if it's almost dry, there's a little few small cracks in here, at least you can tell where the, the cracks are going to go. Do you know what I mean? If you carve wet wood, you don't know where it's going to crack. Well, if you have experience, you might know, you might have some idea, but whatever. Okay, so again, guys, this is a real basic video, and we're starting over again, and we're just going to do it real slow for the beginning carver. Okay, guys? We're going to do a simple wood spirit, no details or nothing. Okay, so let me hang my, I hang my Dremels, guys. This is getting hung up by this back thing right here, right? 
and you get your flex shaft. This is a real old flex shaft too, but we're just going to show you. Okay, now we need a pen. Another thing too, guys, for the real beginning carver is make sure this piece is comfortable in your hand. You know what I mean? Figure it out because when you're carving for the real beginning carvers, these you're carving it out. This thing can bounce out. Just get used to carving lines. You know, the real basic lines, and then you notice know, nice and slow, not too fast, not too deep. I'm going to be taking it real slow in this video, okay? So we got a pen. It's best to use a pencil so you can erase your lines and redraw them on. But this is how my go-to formula to carve a wood spirit, okay? Every single time I use this formula. You can make the beards go this way with the wind, whoosh, that way with the wind. You can make the beards higher, you can make them long, short, anything you want to do. But we're going to make this one real basic, okay? So we're going to act like this triangle point, okay, is our center line. Always try to do a center line, guys. And everything's in my opinion. Okay, so here's one side of the nose. And the next side of the nose. Always try and make sure this line, this side of the nostril, and this side of the nostril, nose, whatever you want to say, are the same width. And the same pitch. Okay? Because if they're not the same width on each side, you're gonna have one thick mustache and you're gonna have one thin one. If this one's bigger, this one's smaller, it's gonna be thick here, it's gonna be smaller here, and it's gonna look kind of funny. Okay? So let's just draw in a mustache, okay? Just a real simple one. There's one side, and here's your next side. So you can see here the mustaches pretty well line up. That's the same thickness. This one can be out here a bit. The more time that you take to draw this on, it's better it's going to look for you too. Okay, so here's one eye and here's the next eye. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut on the outside of the lines. Everything. Okay, we're going to cut out our template. I'm not going to turn my... This is a dust collector table, guys. I'm not going to turn it on so... I can stop and talk and stuff like that, right? So let's get started here. Just do night light, light passes. Okay, there's a nice one pass. And another thing, guys, like I'm sitting in a chair here, make sure you're, that's probably the most important thing about anything. Make sure you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, like sitting or standing carving this, then set it up so you are comfortable. Even if it takes you a week to figure it out, because it will pay off in the long run to be comfortable. Okay, so now we're going to cut inside the beard. Now we'll just cut our, our eyes in. Okay, there's all our outlines done. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut deeper inside this mustache, okay? All this I'm going to cut deeper in here and cut it out. Make it deeper in there. Okay, let's go ahead. See how that's cut in deep there? So what I'm going to do now is go along, I call it feathering out. So we've got our cut marks right where my thumb is here. And now I'm going to feather this all the way from the mustache so the mustache and the nose part stick out the highest, okay? Just 
Take your time. Gather it all. Okay, now on to the next side. Make feathering it away so you don't see your cut mark. Like, see that shadow in there, inside there? That's your cut mark. We're gonna feather it away so you don't see this, see a bump here. Okay, we got a little bit to do on the inside here. Feather that away. Okay, so you can see it's all feathered away. I could do a little bit better job, but I'm in a time time frame here, kind of, for the video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the nose in, okay? So I'm going to cut in the middle of this line for this one, okay? I'm going to cut this nose, and you're going to see how the nose pops out. So easy with your triangle piece, guys. Multiple passes, right? Now see how that's getting deep in there? You don't want this burr to go too deep because that's when it can jam up. If this burr goes too deep in here, that's when it can jam up when it's in there and it will break your inner shaft. Also, look at my playlist how to re in my playlist how to repair your shafts. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna feather this away. Take all this down. There, look guys. Look how fast that nose pops out. Okay, look how far it sticks out already. So when you take this mustache down like I just did, your point for your mouth, <coughs> excuse me, your point for your mouth comes lower, comes farther away from the nose. So we're gonna recarve this back in a bit higher towards the nose. Okay, now we're gonna cut on the side of the nose because you can see the mustache hits the face there. So we're going to cut a little bit deeper here to make the mustache raised up. Okay, look. Now the mustache is raised up. So now let's shape the, round, the nose rounder because we got this square point right here, right? Just nice and easy, guys. Cut the mustache down lower so the nose comes out higher. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll draw the nostrils in. So you got your center mark here. So here's one nostril and here's your next nostril. And we're gonna cut on the outside of these lines. Okay, so we're gonna cut up in here and make it nice and smooth in there and up in here. Center mark, okay. And go nice and slow when you're doing this, guys, because you can ru ruin your nose really quick. There's one nostril in. Now let's do the next one. Next nostril's in. So now let's cut this away. Now shape your nostrils. Cut 
let your beard down a bit lower. Okay, so that's our nostrils are pretty 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 well shaped. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my nostrils in up and under. I go like this, up and under, both sides. You'll see. And don't okay. Okay, there's my nostrils in. So now what I'm gonna do is just give it a little bit of round shape on the outside, nice and slow. Give it some shape. Okay, that's that. So now we'll cut our bottom mouth in. This is a tricky part, guys, because you don't want to get your flex shaft, you don't want to get your burr stuck in the mouth. So we're gonna carve deep in here. Just go really gentle, in and out, in and out. Okay, now I'm gonna, I should have drawn this off, sorry guys, I'm getting ahead of the game. Okay, so here's your bottom lip. So now I'm gonna carve all this out now so the bottom lip's gonna be raised up. See, I'm just feathering it out, feathering the cut away. There's my bottom lips in now. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so we're not gonna carve eyeballs in this video, guys. Okay, we're just gonna carve deep eye sockets. Okay, I do sometimes I carve eyes, sometimes I don't. We're gonna carve deep eye sockets, okay? So it looks like this wood spirits don't have to have eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna cut not straight up and down in here, I'm gonna cut on a 45 like this up and under the eyebrows, okay? You'll see. Start carving underneath the eyebrows. Okay. See, I'm up and underneath. Not just straight in there because it looks like you just got a big hole. But if you carve up and underneath the eyebrows, it looks more mystical. Same with this side. Okay. See how I went up and underneath? So now we're going to cut this bridge of this nose down a bit more. Lower than the eyebrows. This is just how I do it guys. You can watch other videos of other carvers. There's lots out there. See how they do it too. Okay, so now we're going to cut the eyebrows in. Okay, so here's one eyebrow and another eyebrow. We're going to cut all this away. Okay, we're going to leave these, these so they, the eyebrows so they stay higher. Okay, I'm going to do that really quick here guys. <laughs> Now see how the eyebrows are raised up? We're going to cut in between the eyebrows to separate them. Okay, so there you can see, now you have raised eyebrows. 
Your nose is coming in like a diagonal towards the face. Your nose is the highest point once we carve these down a bit more. Okay guys, there it is. There is a, just a simple, simple steps for an easy wood spirit. You know, I'm not going to get into details about the beard hairs. You can watch my other videos. You know, you can carve these eyes deeper. It's totally up to you. Okay, there you go. There's a beginning to a simple wood spirit, guys. You can see his bottom lips in there. And that's about it. See, there's some cut lines here. You can see that shadow? That's what I call cut lines. Feather that away. Watch this. No more cut lines. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish this up and I'll show you at the end of the video what I can get it to look like. Okay, with Matt, you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna end the video here. It's for the very, very beginning wood carver. I'm gonna make another video today carving a quick pumpkin or something too. Just to show you how easy it, it actually is, guys. You know what I mean? And it like those the Dremel burrs, carving burrs, I think they're junk. I, I won't well, I shouldn't say they're junk. They're I, I won't use them. This it's all in the burr. It's all how you control your piece. Your, like fit this in your hand. Make it feel nice and natural. And then your carving's gonna get better. So it's not, you're not carving and jumping all over the place. Take your time, guys. Take your time. Okay, hope everybody's good. Okay, so there you guys go. I just cleaned up these uh, wood spirits after I was uh, done filming. What I did with these beard hairs, I use this aluminum, aluminum cutting bit. You can order sets of 10 of them on eBay for um, like 20 bucks. This is the aluminum cutting bit and you run it on its little corner there to get the beard hairs. And I sanded it with one of my little sanding discs. You can see on my playlist, guys, I have step-by-step -step videos how to make wood spirits on my playlist, okay? So anyways, hope this video helped you. For the real beginning carver, somebody that wants to learn how to carve. And now I gotta start carving these Christmas trees. Okay, I got like 20 million to do. <laughs>